I was uh, about four and a half, five years old. I'm playing in the driveway. You remember those big old foam gliders that used to be at the store and you could go throw them in a big airliner glider? I'm playing with this thing in the driveway and I just threw it and over our, my head flew an F-18. It was loud, it was big, it was fast. So from a very early age, I set my sights on that and built the path that I was gonna go through life. So uh, I remember being nine years old and a teacher asking me, what do you wanna do? I was able to say, and I want to be a jet pilot. But the F-35 defies the old terms of bomber or fighter. It's everything, it's all of those. This is an extremely proud moment to see fixed wing aviation return to the Royal Navy. This is just the start of a journey. There's always something special about flying, there's something special about being a naval aviator flying off a uh, ship. Uh, to be able to break the bonds of the ship, break the bonds of land, climb into the skies, look down onto, onto a British ship float in the middle of the ocean uh, and to have that sense of freedom. Uh, it, it's hard to put into words. Um, the, the only people that really understand it are pilots. Um, what it's like to fly a fast jet is another step beyond that. What it's like to fly the F-35 is a uh, quantum leap above that. It's a sublime experience. The F-35 uh, represents a revolutionary step in our capabilities. What makes it a leap uh, beyond anything else that exists out there in the world today uh, the stealth technology. So the host of sensors and the host of weapons that are at the pilot's disposal far outreach anything that we've seen in previous platforms and should be considered more revolutionary than evolutionary.